hello everyone now we will discuss this uh, opioid analgesics and antagonist but uh, this chapter is divided into three parts as per my concern and three videos are there for this chapter and in this first video we will discuss only what are opioid analgesics then receptors and the classification of opioid analgesics <coughs> what are opioid analgesics these are the analgesics or painkillers that binds to opioid receptor which are found principally in the central nervous system and gastrointestinal tract these are two types of opioids endogenous and exogenous opioids so what is meant by first endogenous opioids these are natural agonist for opioid receptor commonly known as endomorphine short form is endogenous morphines there are three to four types of endomorphines first one is uh, endomorphines then uh, enkephalins dynorphines and nociceptin then physiology behind this endogenous morphines it released by pituitary gland and hypothalamic neurons in response to pain stress ex exercise and labor and delivery this numerous effects on the body some examples includes act to relieve the pain and anxiety also associated with the feelings of euphoria increase appetite and enhancement of immune response known for runner's high this mode of action of this it produced from pro hormones pro opio mel nalocortin that is beta endorphin pro enkephalin and pro dynorphan it is released from the synapse and directly stimulate opioid receptor on the pre and post synaptic membranes it binds to different opioid receptor that is beta endorphin and endomorphins that is mu kappa and delta that is enkephalins and dynorphins further what is meant by exogenous opioids these are two types semi synthetic opioids it is derived from opm examples are oxycodone hydromorphone bupri bup buprenorphine then heroin and synthetic opioids it is made by man in laboratories fentanyl methadone mepridine and tramadol this metabolism of this exogenous opioids are ultimately converted to morphine within the body from there it will turn into morphine derivatives before finally turning into morphine then mechanism of action of this opioid act through stimulation of g protein coupled receptor and through inhibition of neurotransmitter transmitter release to produce their effect when opioids binds to one or three main types of receptor then gdp dissociates from the alpha subunit and gtp molecule take place thereby producing a conformational change that can signal for cascade of protein to produce various effects like pain relief sedative effects etc this opioids various role in the pain management it inhibit the disposal of norepinephrine and serotonin which can have consequences in pain management since these neurotransmitter inhibit pain transmission this methadone binds to sub type of mu receptor which are found in immune system cells and the research suggests that upon activation nmda blockers may decrease opioid tolerance and further development of chronic pain who uses of this opioid analgesics that is co cognitive impairment sedative effects but not consciousness euphoria analgesia depression of respiration then nausea vomiting constipation gastrointestinal effects cardiovascular effects cough suppression other can 
cause release of this histamine bronchoconstriction and affects immune system this opium is the raisinous juice of unrip seed of oriental poppy it contains more than 20 alkaloids at the sugars along with sugars resins wax and water it is a source of opium morphine is obtained from opium which is partly dried latex from in seeds unrip capsule of papaver somniferum morphine is active principal component at a 16% and codeine is 4% in opium further this composition opium extract from seeds of poppy flower this pure opium contains 10 to 16% morphine 1 to 3% codeine and thebane that is 1 to 2% and others contains sugar, protein, fats, water, plant wax, lactic, gums, sulfuric and lactic acids. This opium are chemically, there are two types, phenanthrene ring is present in some components and benzyl isoquinoline. And examples of phenanthrene ring containing opium alkaloids are morphine, codeine and thevene and others are papaverine and noscapine. It is contains benzyl isoquinoline further there are number of product classes of opioid that is natural opiates alkaloids contain the resin of opium poppy including morphine codeine and thebane semi synthetic opiates called as heroin hydromorphone oxocodone etc heroin is called as diacetyl morphine this hydrogen is replaced with the acetyl functional group of third and sixth position. It is fully synthetic opioids such as pentanyl, methadone, and tramadol. Endogenous opioids, peptides produced naturally in the body, such as endomorphine and caffeines, and dynorphine and endomorphines. These opiums, again, opium, it is natural, semi synthetic, synthetic, and endogenous. This natural is uh, again morphine, codeine, thebane created from natural opioids such as oxocodone and heroin. Then fully synthetic is methadone and fentanyl. Endogenous is it is produced naturally in the body. It is encephalin. Further, these opioids are agonist, mixed agonist, antagonist, and antagonist. Examples are buprenorphine and nal Pin is mixed agonist and antagonist. Naloxone and naltrexone is antagonist. Then strong agonist is morphine. Moderate is codeine and propoxypine is weak agonist towards opioid receptor. Examples are this methadone, mepridine, etc. There is again same one. It is examples with weak is propoxypine, moderate is codeine, oxocodone. Then uh, the strong is morphine, mepridine, and methadone. Chemical classification of uh, opioid analgesics are phenanthrene derivatives means this agent contains or drug contains a phenanthrene as a basic nucleus. Example: morphine, codeine, heroin, hydrocodone, oxocodone, etc. Then phenylpiperidine ring system: mepridine, fentanyl, etc. Phenyl, diphenylheptanes derivative: methadone, propoxypine and benzomorphine derivative that is pentazosine, diphenoxylate, then low pyramide etc. Benzyl isoquinoline is papaverine and nescaphene. This is regarding uh, classification of opioid analgesic. Then opioid receptors are G protein coupled receptors it is with opioids as a ligands. Further, this uh, divided into three mu receptors are thought to be responsible for most of the analgesic effect of opioids. Then, delta receptors are probably more important in periphery but may also contribute to analgesia. Then, kappa receptor contribute to analgesia at the spinal level and may elicit sedation and dysphoria but produce relatively few unwanted effects. 
this is a receptor with uh, exogenous and endogenous agonist and towards this mu delta kappa and orphan one this is regarding definition and classification of opioid analgesics with the receptor in the next lecture we will discuss modification of morphine then SAR and details of other classes of opioid analgesics. Thank you.